Hi YouTube, I just wanted to come and tell you this story about something that happened at work today and I just want to give you a little insight. You see I'm in my uniform so this is an Air Force type of thing. So um, I'm going to give you a backstory, and then I'm going to get to the point of the video and hopefully this is very quick. So today I went to work and I ran into one of my friends who happens to be a supervisor and one of my other friends is one of her troops, you know, is a subordinate. So she told me that she had to send our friend home because of her hair. And my friend, my other friend who was sent home, she is also natural just like me. <clears throat> and um, supervisor is, she's natural, but you know, she um, she doesn't have like that thick, like jungle thing going on with her hair like we do. So she was asking me about like the regs and everything and what I thought about sending her home. And when she came, when she came to work, um, she was told that her hair was out of regulation and her defense was that many other people, mostly many me, come to work with their hair just like that. So if she, if they can come to work with their hair in two, two strand twists is what it was, two strand twists, then why can't she come to work in two strand, two strand twists? The argument we, that was being had was based on the AFI. And if you don't know the AFI, I made a video about it uh, before, it's AFI 3629.03. And that is our just in appearance uh, Air Force regulation, Air Force instruction, which is what AFI stands for. And in AFI uh, 3629.03, it has a paragraph. It says that um, dreadlocks, which are defined as long strands of hair twisted from the root to the tip, um, are not allowed in uniform. Okay, so um, that's where the argument was coming in because. Uh, my friend had previously been counseled on not to uh, wear her hair like that to work and so she came she showed up to work like that again today and so she was sent home and her argument was that other people do it so why can't she do it okay so the AFI doesn't want dreadlocks right and um, I have since eliminated wearing my hair in the one the single strand twist which y'all saw when I did the happy to be nappy uh, video those were single strands. I've since eliminated that. For one thing, my hair is too long, and for uh, two, uh, it's against the AFI to have that. But the issue we're having here is that the AFI is just so gray area and non-specific when it comes to what are what is a dreadlock, which is a long strand of hair. But yeah, is that one strand? Is that two strands wrap around each other? Is that three? Is that, does that qualify as a braid? It's just too much that goes on in the gray area. So. That's where people like me, like naturals, we have an issue as to how we can wear our hair because, of course, our hair is just not as cooperative as other people's hair. So, there there was an issue with that today. So, she was sitting home and she actually is taking a couple of days of leave because she refused to take her hair out. So, I, I'm, I'm making this video for one thing to, to say that um, everything in the military is not going to make you happy for one thing and um some things even if you don't agree with you still have to do so i've only had two people ever say something to me about my hair when i oh sorry three people when i first got out of bmt and i got to tech school uh if you guys remember i had like a short fro it was like my i had like this much hair. um she was implying that i should get a perm that's what I got from that whole conversation and from that that was an insult because first you don't have any right to tell me how I should and should not do my hair but um <clears throat> The, I didn't like that, but she did. She wanted me out here to look professional, whatever. I handled it. Uh, the second person, they would say something to me, and I would, I would fix it, and that'd be the end of it. But you guys should recognize that there are some things in the Air Force or in the military in general that you, even if you disagree, you will have no control over. You will need to fix it and just move on. Some battles are not worth fighting. And so this is one of the battles, because it's in murky water, because her supervisor said to fix it, she just has to fix it. And that's just what it is. The AFI does not cater to naturals. Uh, it's a whole other story, a whole other video, and I'm not really going to get into that. It's, it's much longer and my battery is dying with my camera. And um, sometimes, we call it shut up in color. So this is a shut up in color moment. You have to sacrifice parts of your life and parts of your ideals if you want to be in the military, it's just what it is. You know, people think that you sell your soul and that's not true, but you do kind of give up part of your independence and your individuality because you're in the military. So there are certain things that you must conform to. So I just want to share that story with you guys so you can get the point and I want a real life situation for you guys to understand. I haven't really experienced much else. And oddly enough, my hair is actually in red like this. 
but um I don't know this is the first day so I don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow or the day after that but I hope you guys get a little perspective on the military and sometimes things don't go your way so realize that before you go to sign up sometimes things aren't gonna make you happy all right so next video I see you guys later